Welcome or welcome back on Watch Advisor on YouTube. It's Alexander speaking, your host. And in the picture, you see on the right side the watch I'm doing a hands on video, and it is the IWC Schaffhausen Pilots Watch Chronograph Top Gun Edition SFTI. Don't forget to subscribe and to hit the bell to get our latest notifications. If you do so, you have the chance to win the brand new iPhone 12 Pro. The happy winner will be announced in the community section tab January 2021. Good luck! The chronograph you see in the picture is the civilian version of a chronograph launched in 2018 for the Navy Fighter Weapons School graduates. The watch was called Edition Strike Fighter Tactics Instructor and of course this chronograph was and is only available to um, graduates from the Top Gun program or the Top Gun classes. So this is the civilian version. The civilian version is limited to 1,500 pieces. It is identical to the watch sold to the graduates of the Top Gun program, but does not have the badge of the Navy Fighter Weapons School because this badge is exclusive and should only be carried by graduates of the Top Gun School. So this is the civilian version as I just said 1500 pieces. The watch is housed uh, in a black zirconium oxide ceramic case and uh, the pushers and the back, the case back, are made of a ceratanium. That's a, a material developed by IWC. This material is as light and durable as titanium, but at the same time, similarly hard and scratch resistant as ceramic. So what's that story with RWC and the Navy Fighter Weapons School called Top Gun? If you are interested to learn some more details, please listen to my conversation with Captain Jimmy Di Matteo, uh, call sign Guido. I talked with him via Zoom in uh, San Diego, California, and he is the man to explain you everything, all details about the cooperation, about in between IWC and the Top Gun classes or the Top Gun course uh, the Navy Fighter Weapons School is um, having. So he is one of the graduates, he is one of the most and highly decorated pilots of the US Navy. So if you're really interested, please listen to this interview. And for those who don't want to or are keen to get more information right now, you see here, this is the official badge of the um, Navy US United States Navy Fighter Weapons School. And this is one of the watches that IWC since 2018 is producing manufacturing for the graduates of this Top Gun program. So if you are a graduate, if you have done it, if you went through the program, you're entitled to wear and buy one of those watches. And this is the original badge that these watches carry. And I will also now show you the backside with some really nice possible engravings of this Mark 12 of IWC being exclusively made uh, for the Navy Fighter Weapons School. You can see the original badge. The watch, when they buy it, it will also be included that they have their first name, their call sign, and their family name engraved. So this is a very personal timepiece they will get and they are able to buy from IWC if they are graduates of the school. So this is the original watch with the original badge, one of them. Um, you can once again see the badge. And this might be a lifetime occasion to once wear a Mark 18, IWC Mark 18, with the Navy Fighter Weapons School badge on it. As you can see, it's the badge that is normally only being used by the graduates of the Top Gun program and not by me, so I do not deserve to wear the watch. Um, but I'm proud to have it on my wrist, I have to say this. It looks good. Um, 40 millimeters Mark 18 of IWC Schaffhausen, specially done and produced for the graduates of the Top Gun program. Yes, including the badge. And as I mentioned in the video, with the special engraving on the case button, first name, call sign, and family name. 
that will be probably Alexander Alex Lintz. And uh, now I will show you the backside of uh, the chronograph we are talking about in this video. And you can clearly see that there is a different logo on it. That's a logo that was created specially for the Top Gun film because the logo of the Navy fighter weapon school was never supposed to be a public domain or be available to any other than to graduates of the school. So this logo was created for the movie and it was IWC in the year 2007 that they licensed together with the Navy that logo so they could use it for the watch it and the purpose of uh, creating that logo at the time being was to have the name Top Gun on it because as you just saw the logo uh, from the Navy Fighter Weapon School of course does not mention the word Top Gun and it is Top Gun was the name of the film and Top Gun is the program they are going through running through when they are entitled or when they are going to be the trained as the best pilots of the Navy. So this is the logo you see on the IWC watch. Besides this, the chronograph is, as I just said before, authentic to the one launched for the pilots. The IWC pilots watch chronograph Top Gun Edition SFTI um, is a chronograph, yes, as just said, and the ceramic case has a diameter of 44.5 millimeters, so the diameter of the watch is 44.5 millimeters. The thickness of the case is 15.7, 15.7 millimeters, and the so called lug to lug distance, so the distance from here to here. The lug to lug distance is 54 millimeters. 54 millimeters. And for those being interested in probably changing the strap later on, the distance in between the lugs is 21. So the dial of this chronograph, and I am happy that the two hands, that's a real coincidence, that the two hands are now perfectly and not uh, covering any of the indications of the watch, neither the 30 minute counter, neither the 12 hour counter, nor the running second. And they are of course also not covering the day and date indication, day and date indication. So perfectly setting from the hands. Thank you guys for doing this and being in the right position when I wanted to present the dial of the watch. Yes, we do have the typical look of an IWC Flieger or pilot's watch with the triangle at 12 o'clock. Yes, making it possible to always know where 12 o'clock is. So in case, uh, you're looking at the watch and you don't know where it's up and down, the triangle will immediately tell you this is up. So you have the typical um, typo of the Flieger uh, chronographs, the pilot chronographs of IWC Schaffhausen, nicely done. Lots of Super Luminova applied on it. Uh, and yes, you have a chronograph, as I just said, it is um, the new 69380 caliber of IWC Schaffhausen, 69380 or 69380 as you want to spell it. So it is an in-house manufactured uh, caliber with a column wheel uh, with a power reserve of 46 hours and the balance wheel is oscillating at 4 hertz or 28,800 semi-oscillations. How can you also quickly distinguish the new in-house caliber chronograph movement IWC uh, is using now very easy uh, with the Valju 7750. You, see, you will still have that same order of uh, the sub counters, one at 12, one at nine and one at six o'clock. But the uh, running second now has moved from the nine o'clock position to the six o'clock position. And you clearly see it is also indicating that this is the running second by having colored the little hand in red and this is very good that they did it so for a quick possible uh, a quick possibility to distinguish which of the counters belong to the chronograph you have clearly the running second is red so this does not belong to the chronograph but all the hands in white 
the running second, central running second, the 30 mini counter and the 12 hour counters. These are the sub counters belonging to the chronograph. So um, also good to mention that the uh, 69380 caliber is protected by a soft iron in a case. The dial is made of that material. This is also the reason why there is no see-through case on this watch because the um, uh, soft iron inner case is protected, is protecting the watch from the backside, from the side, of course, uh, and of course from the top. And this soft iron inner case uh, gives the watch a protection up to 1000 Gauss. This is much more than the Dean um, request. The Dean for a Swiss uh, mechanical wristwatch is 60 Gauss and uh, the protection now offered with the soft iron inner case is 1000 Gauss. But still, you have to take care not to be too close to very strong magnets because those might easily be stronger than just 1000 Gauss. That Dean 8309 being applied to mechanical wristwatches and protecting them or, or demanding a magnetic field protection of 60 Gauss, in my humble opinion, is a joke. Um, so these days, uh, mechanical wristwatches should have a far more protection against magnetic fields because they are there, they are around, surrounding us, and this is a good uh, thing that this watch has not a see-through case. I already hear some of you saying, hey, I would have wanted to see the movement. Nope, you're not going to see it. Uh, you see the Top Gun logo, and the watch, as I just said, is protected by this soft are in, in a case. So the case is waterproof to six bars. It has a screw down crown. I will unscrew it uh, to show you some little things. I have been uh, noticing when I touched the watch uh, for the first times that this uh, is really a very smooth and absolutely precise uh, wound crown in terms of the mechanical haptical feeling you have is gorgeous. Does not happen very often. Already sometimes when you start unscrewing um, you already have that uh, little shaky feeling and uh, yeah, you say to yourself couldn't it be done better. Once again a timepiece that shows it can be done better. That haptical feeling is really perfect. There is nothing you could uh, yeah, uh, criticize perfectly done. You also have an uh, absolute distinguished position. You immediately feel first position. That's the position I am changing. Duh, now you can see the day. So it is English, Tuesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Let the jet get passed by Sunday. Let's continue Monday, Tuesday, where we started from. As well, the other way around, we have, you see you can adjust the date nicely to the 20th. That's today, Tuesday the 20th. And I will come back here. And also this is really a feeling um, that I very much appreciate. Well done to IWC. The glass is secured also against displacement by drop in air pressure. And this happens in a cockpit. Listen to what uh, Captain Jim DiMatteo told me in our uh, interview and uh, conversation. So if you haven't seen it, please check out the video where I'm talking to Captain Jim DiMatteo, a former Top Gun instructor and a man who really ha he has 5,000 hours of experience in jets. And if you listen to him, you will really get some insights about what really is necessary in a cockpit and what not. The chronograph is not a flyback chronograph, so you have uh, a start and stop function. Also here to mention and uh, this is a column wheel chronograph done by IWC completely um, from scratch uh, has been conceived uh, with modern means. Modern technology is manufactured uh, in the best way uh, we can imagine today. So the feeling of uh, starting and stopping, I've been mentioning this uh, in other videos before, if it is a column wheel chronograph, you have a particular feeling because there's one specific point. When you push on the push piece, you can see there is some space, nothing is happening. But then all of a sudden there comes the point. It is one specific point. It is really, you feel it in your fingertips, start, stop. Soft, defined, and that's how a chronograph with a column wheel should work. So this is to reset. So uh, once again, when I start the chrono, if I 
use the reset button, nothing happens and you clearly see, so this is not a flyback chronograph, but what happens if I now watch uh, all the indications. Also, something I can quickly show you because I was amazed when I saw it first, trying it, it is the date change because the date change really happens quite accurate at midnight. So you can already see that there is some movement here. The Tuesday has already looking um, as it would uh, like to do something. The 20 is still in, in the position and now watch what will happen at exactly midnight. Look, Wednesday is done and the 21st too. So the entire uh, thing happens around in 20 minutes, uh, the date and the day change is done and this is pretty nice. I have uh, seen watches uh, where it took much longer than this. The chronograph comes with a green textile strap as you see it right now on your screens. Um, there is some leather being applied here. Um, where the pin goes through to protect the surface. Uh, then on the other side, you have some leather being stitched on. So it feels good on the wrist. So this is what you get. A pin buckle. Yes, it's a pin buckle. No folding clasp or something comparable. The pin buckle with the IWC logo, International Watch Company. As I said before, 21 millimeters in between the lugs. So if you want to exchange it to an auto strap or whatsoever, 21 millimeters is the size you have to get. So I've been saying lots of good things about the watch. Of course, first of all, I personally think this is a very cool chronograph. It's ultra light. You almost have no weight in your hand due to the materials used. It is a cool watch. Readability is perfect. The glass has been treated anti-reflective on both sides. There are still some reflections, but they are due to the fact that the glass is a little bit domed and uh, this is causing those reflections, but readability couldn't be better because the contrast couldn't be better. <laughs> you have a black, matte black dial and you have white hands, white uh, numbers and indexes, so readability is really good, nothing to complain about. What I uh, probably would have done if I would be IWC or be in charge of doing these watches, I wouldn't have made it 44.5 millimeters, but a little bit smaller. What would have happened is that uh, the distance in between the date and uh, the index or the end of the case uh, would have been less. It clearly, you clearly see how big the movement is. It is the same size as the 7750 that IWC has always been using. So the new 69380 movement has the identical size of a Valju 7750 and you clearly see that there is some a uh, space here and by making the case a little bit smaller this uh, would have been uh, less visible um, for those who of course are aware of mechanical movements and how they work and how they function disc is here underneath so it's clear that this is the, the end or the size of the movement and I would have made the case a little bit smaller. First of all, many of you do request smaller watches, always complain about the big sizes. So it would have been probably a good idea to make it a little bit smaller and also to diminish this, yeah, this place here. So there would have been less here and the date would have been more out uh, on the outer side and this would have probably looked a little bit uh, better in my humble opinion, but that's me. Nothing else to uh, complain about the watch. The new movement of IWC, as I just said, really is doing good. That's a very, very well-designed and engineered uh, automatic movement, doing what it has to do, giving accurate time and also, yeah, being able to withstand G-forces and everything that happens in a cockpit of a modern fighter jet. So the watch, once again, is the civil version of a watch that IWC has been providing uh, to the graduates of the Navy Fighter Weapons School Top Gun program. So they are entitled to buy the watch with the badge, with the original badge on the badge. And this is a one of those watches IWC, meanwhile, is manufacturing for the Top Gun graduates 
so these are the official watches not available to the public this is why there is this civil version limited to 1500 pieces and the name of the watch is SFTI so it is strike fighter tactics instructor so the nickname of this chronograph is SFTI so nice watch um, good visibility good readability uh, nice size uh, nothing to complain about uh, a cool chronograph to have yes no doubt uh, thanks for watching the video and now uh, what do you think on the wrist does it look good and uh, what about uh, me suggesting making the watch a little bit smaller what do you think uh, could have been an idea in fact so thank you very much for watching this video presenting pilots watch chronograph top gun edition sfti limited to 1500 pieces as you see hello <laughs> you see me there oh my goodness these reflections it's hard to handle them in front of a camera there you go the two watches on the left uh, a mark 12 a mark 12 iwc mark 12 uh, with the official navy fighter weapon school badge at nine o'clock and the civil version of a watch that iwc has uh, produced 2018 for them now in a civil version so we uh, can we normal human beings can buy them so thanks for watching the video do please not forget to watch the video um, with uh, captain Jim Di Matteo that's really interesting uh, Jim is going to tell you lots of insights about the training program about uh, what's going on uh, uh, there about what is done about the spirit the team spirit and everything about those pilots these elite pilots so watch the video it's cool um, to listen to a retired Navy captain who has some 5,000 hours on jets and was one of the very very best Navy pilots. So thanks for watching and uh, yeah, stay tuned on Watch Advisor on YouTube. There's much more to come and thanks for watching this video about this beautiful IWC chronograph. Bye bye for now.